With all that recent rain, is the Bay Area still under a drought? What new data is showing? That and more news coming up on Sinkton. Hey everyone, all that rain we've gotten has made a huge impact. Most of the Bay Area is now out of the drought. This is according to the latest data from the U.S. Drought Monitor. Take a look at the map. As you can see, the majority of the Bay Area is now in white, which indicates drought-free conditions. Only parts of Sonoma, Napa, and Solano counties are in that abnormally dry category, shaded in bright yellow. Data shows California's primary reservoirs gained nearly 10 million acre feet of water between last November and February. In case you forgot, most of the Bay Area was in a severe or extreme drought at the start of the water year back in September. Okay, shifting gears, in late 2020, the city of San Francisco created a committee to explore reparations for its black residents. On Tuesday, the committee presented a proposal to the Board of Supervisors on potential ways to make up for centuries of slavery and systemic racism. Here are a few of the over 100 recommendations listed. Payments of $5 million to every eligible black adult, the elimination of personal debt and tax burdens, guaranteed annual incomes of at least $97,000 for 250 years, and homes in San Francisco for just $1 a family. Many of the details are still unclear, like eligibility and funding, but the board did unanimously express support for the proposal. They're reportedly meeting again in September to further discuss the issue. What are your thoughts on this? Well, in other local news, SFO has once again made the top 100 list of the world's best airports. This list is put out annually by the airline and airport ranking site Skytrax. Last year, SFO took the 56th spot. This year, it went up to the 48th spot. Neither Oakland nor San Jose have made the cut in the last years. According to the site, the ranking is decided by customers from around the world. They rate the airports on multiple factors, including shopping, check-in, arrivals, transfers, and security and immigration. These are this year's top 10 airports, by the way. Thoughts on the list? Let me know in the comment section. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.